It is uh, time for a Stephen D.C. show phone sham. And we've got Leah on the line. And Leah wants to set up for somebody that she knows and loves. Uh, hey, good morning, Leah. Hi. Is this, a, is this a good friend we're going to call for you? This is my boss. Uh-oh. Mm -mm. Uh-oh. I'm leaving her soon to go to school, good and thing. I'm going to go out with a bang. <laughs> Not a problem. Now, what is her first name, Leah? Her name is Dana. Okay, she does not listen to the show, does she? She does not. Perfect. Now, uh, can we bring you on at the end? Absolutely. Okay, when is your last day? My last day will be... Today, in fact. Probably <laughs> the second day is yesterday. Um, sometime in August. Perfect. All right, you hang on. We're going to try this and see what happens. We understand she runs a hair salon, and yes. it's going to have to do a little hair problem. Yeah. This could get hairy. Hold on, okay? <laughs> Here we go. Hold on. <laughs> Nothing like the hair business. Oh, yeah. No, you know, I used to be a cosmetician. <laughs> uh, cosmet <laughs> Cosmopolitan. Yeah, women get really upset when you scrub their hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it happens. Mm -hmm. Gotta be real careful. Just yeah. wait till you scrub in a rear sister's hair. Oh, my. <laughs> Blue hair, that. Oh, <laughs> The hair business may help you. Who am I talking to? This is Dana. You're the one that April told me to call when I called uh, early. I called yesterday about my haircut. Uh huh. Did she tell you that I called? I don't. I don't. You'll have to refresh my memory. I... She promised me that she would tell you that I called. Uh, okay. And she didn't do that, did she? Well, I'm not sure. What's your name? My name is Thelma. O Rhea. That's O apostrophe R E A R. Uh huh. And what can I do for you? I had my. I had several people tell me that this was the the best place for me to go. I went in there in April. You know April? Yes. She's the one that did my hair. Uh huh. And there are all kinds of problems with it. I wanted a perm. And she told me that if I got a perm and a cut, that I could get it for about $45. And I did that. When I left the salon and got home, about an hour or two later, my hair, I noticed that my hair was, was changing to it. It was becoming discolored. Uh-huh. Did you have a tint on it prior uh, to your perm? Did I have a what on it? Did you have color on it prior to your perm? No. Okay. And it was becoming discolored. Uh-huh. And then the, the perm let out. It let out uh, probably a, a day or two later. Uh-huh. And now I'm noticing that, that pieces and, and chunks of, of my hair is actually falling out. Okay. Little, little, little chunks are actually falling out. Uh-huh. And when did you have this done? Well, I, I, I had it done on Monday for last. And when I called April, she was very rude to me. And I don't appreciate that. She okay. was very rude to me. And she, she hung up on me. She said, you called Dana and then slammed the phone down. Okay. Uh, did you do this last night or something? Or were you... Did you call last night? I or? called yesterday. Okay. I called several times because this is very upsetting. I, if I pay $45 for and I don't have a lot of money. I don't have, I'm not wealthy, and I uh, hard okay, earned my, cut it, what? Just calm down. Uh, are you wanting a refund? Well, I don't, what will a refund do for me at this point? Well, you were obviously unhappy with the service that she gave you. So if you if you want a refund, I will give it to you. I, a refund? Half of my head is curly. The other half is flat. It's discolored. Okay. A chunk from the right side fell out this morning. A chunk, a, a, a chunk from the same side fell out two days ago. Okay. Just calm down a minute. Uh, what would you like for me to do for you? Well, I would like, I would like, uh, first thing I need is a wig. 
that's the first thing I need is a wig, and I want to pick it out. I want it to be a custom wig, and I want it to be long to cover all this, this mess, this mess that April has put me in. I'm sorry I'm getting all upset, but I can't help it. Okay. I want a custom wig. Okay, With you don't need hair. to come in and see me. Um, I will see you, but I want you to be prepared for what I do. You need to make this right. Or you I know will what? call I the have no uh, problem uh, with making it uh, right as long as you keep control and you don't yell and scream at me like uh, you've just been yelling and screaming. How can you? How dare you? Don't how dare me. How you've been yelling dare. and screaming at me, and I've been offering you everything you want. If you got bad service from one of my girls, I intend on making it right. You don't need to yell and scream at me. But you don't have to live with what I'm living with right Ma now. Ma'am, I have said head. everything that I was going to make it all right with you. I, if you come in and let me check your hair and look at your hair. Uh -huh. Now, I have offered to refund you will your make money. It, you'll make it right? I will refund your money, yes. Will you make it right? Will you make it right? I will hair? check your hair. Uh -huh. I will do what? I'm not going to buy you a long wig. Why not? Why not? I, well, you, I, you know, I don't think that that perm... I'll have to check the perm. When you but see But I'm not it. buying you a long custom-made wig. You most certainly are going to buy me a custom-made wig. I didn't mess my hair up like this. Your salon did and April did. She's responsible if for it. If you want to come in here and have her and I check your hair, we will check your hair. I have. And I will refund your money if you're unhappy with it. I have splotchy, bald patches in my hair. I, w I would like to see that if you want to make if you want to come in and have her and I check it we'd be more than happy to check it for you I don't see why you as a respectable business owner wouldn't get me a wig that would cover up no, this mess. No, ma'am. Nobody in this business is going to give you a customized human hair long wig. I want something that makes it right. I want something that's long. I will refund your money. That and then that's the best you can do? Is you want to come in and let me take a look at your hair. Let her and I take a look I'm at gonna, your hair. I'm going to come in, but I want to know what we're dealing with. And you know what I'll do if I don't get a wig? I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I'll do. I will walk around in front of your store. I'll wear a sign that points up that says, this is what they did to me. Don't let this happen to you. I'll march all around the building. I'll march around. I'll march around and around with a sign on that says, this is what they did to me. Don't let it happen to you. And when people see the splotches and the bald patches, and when people see the discoloration, and the half the sign is curly, half the sign is flat, and then they look, take a look at it and they see my sign that says, this is what they did to me. Don't let it happen. You, they, they, people be my, the people, people will join me in the march. They'll march around with me, and, and, and you'll lose business. You'll lose business. Unless you get me a wig, I will do it. Ma'am, I'm not going to buy you a custom-made human hair long wig. I don't I see why. I will refund the money since you are unhappy with what is the problem with a wig? Why? Uh, is what that? is the problem? Because you're talking four or five hundred dollars for a customized human hair long wig, and I'm not responsible for that. I will refund your money. I, saw I cannot believe that April's work was has totally discolored your hair, and you've got hair falling well, out. Well, wait till you time. see it. Wait till you see it. And well, you... I would have to see it, that's for uh -huh. sure. Uh, and wait. if you want to march in front of my store, I will. you're I... welcome to march in front of my store. And if you want to have the whole town join you in uh -huh. your march uh -huh. across my store, you can join in the march across my store. Well, you can prevent that because when you run your fingers through my hair, and I want you to do that, I want you to run your fingers through my hair. You know what? I am very busy right now. If you want to tell me what time you want to come in, she comes in at 3 today. If you want to come, if you want to call, come Wait. in like at uh, 
7.30 tonight, we'd be more than happy to take a look at your hair. Are you going to be there all day? I am here. At, I will be here at 7.30 tonight to look at your hair. Well, I'm going to take a nap. Okay. I'm well, yes, get... I would think you need a nap because you've just wore me out and yourself out on this conversation, dear. I'm, I'm going to get some lunch, and I'm going to get... I will see get... you at 7.30 tonight. And I'm, how have... big a girl are you? <clears throat> how big a girl are you? You know what? I don't think that's any of your business, how big of a girl. What are you going to do, beat me up? Well, let me tell you something. You know, you've got one of those books there, and you pencil in appointments, don't you? You pencil in different appointments? You know, what is your point? Mm -hmm. I want you to pencil in about 7 o'clock. Thelma O'Rea, okay? Pen yes, Thelma O'Rea. Your name is down at 7 o'clock. Pencil me. And we will check your hair. And, I, and will I will have your money ready to get back to you. But and I'm not going to buy you a <laughs> well, custom-made, long-haired, human-haired, long wig. You understand this. Thelma O'Rea is going to come down there, and if I don't get the wig, that I want. I don't I, deal in wigs, and I am not going to buy I a wig, ma'am. I will open a 55-gallon drum of rear-end whopper. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's falling for it. I'm telling you what, that old lady just does not get upset too easily. Very she's a very whoopa. strong Christian woman, and she is hot. <laughs> well, there's only one thing left to do, and that's just call her back real fast. Yes, oh, I yeah. think you should. All right, here we go. Rhea Ann Whoopa. I want you to tell her that you want a Shania Twain wig. <laughs> You saw one advertised on TV for $19.99. Rhea Ann Whoopa. Got him up. <laughs> hey, you talk to her, Leah. Okay. Hello? Is Dana there? Uh, yes, she is. Who's calling? This is Leah. Who's Leah. This? Okay. Who's this? Leah. Hello. Dana? Yeah. Do I work tonight? I or think did so, Kaylee yeah. say that she was going to work for me? Yeah, she worked last night. I think you work tonight, don't you? Uh-huh. Are we busy tonight? Yeah, I am. What do we got going on? Well, I've got some perms and some colors. And <laughs> Do you have a problem? Well, I just didn't know if I was going to be able to make it, but... uh. Well, uh, you want me to call Kaylee in? <sighs> oh, I don't know. I can try to make it. I just... um. I just wanted to make sure that we didn't have anything major, but um, I, it sounds like you do, plums and well, colors. Well, if you, uh, why don't, you know, if you think you can't make it, she can work, can't she? Well, I, hate I to... can work. How about if I work? Because I'm coming down at 7 o'clock with a Lydia? case. Dana? What? Dana, we've got three-way calling going. Yes, we Are do. Are you still there, Dana? Yeah, I'm still here. Oh. We certainly do have three-way calling Who's going. Who's line? Dana? Yes, ma'am. Make sure you have penciled in Thelma O'Rea at 7 o'clock tonight. Thelma O'Rea, you are penciled in. You have me Dana? penciled in? <laughs> Dana? Yeah, Leah? Guess what? What? I love you. Are you going to miss me when I'm gone? I love you, Leah. <laughs> You've officially been Stephen D.C. phone Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Dana, I have to leave you with a bang. I want you to remember me always. Oh, 
Oh, you stinker, you. <laughs> I love you. You are so cute. Isn't she artsy fartsy? She I is. just love her today. <laughs> artsy fartsy. She, she is. is. So artsy fartsy. We're going to send you a copy of this over where you can play it there in the salon over and over oh, again. Oh, you really? Yes. Yeah, that's artsy nice. too. I love that. Yes. But we'll only send it if you'll send uh, Thelma a Shania Twain wig. I will do it. It's Good. in the mail. In the mail, I think. <laughs> Dana, you were great. Leah, thank you for the Thanks, idea. Thank you guys so much. I listen to you every day, and I love you. Thanks, you. Yes. Thanks. Bye-bye. Good luck, I'll see you tonight. Bye. Yes, you will. In fact, you'll see me tonight. That's right. I don't think she fell for it. Do you guys? <laughs>